Hey everyone, happy Monday. Joe here at Sports Grid. It's time for Puck It with Joe. Light slate today. Only two games out there on the ice, but these games are so hugely impactful. We know the playoffs start in the next couple of weeks here, and all of these teams have a reason to play tonight. Well, not as much Toronto. They've officially clinched and how they're sitting right now. I think they like the position they're in, but we'll see um, what happens with the Toronto Maple Leafs out there. We know this team plays so hard at home. So let's break down these games. Let's make some money, you guys. Appreciate you guys for being here today. Remember, all odds are from FanDuel. So the first game we're going to look at is the Pittsburgh Penguins. Now the Pittsburgh Penguins are taking on the Toronto Maple Leafs. Looking at the current lines on this one. The Leafs, of course, the favorite at home, minus 150 on the money line, plus 125 for the Pittsburgh Penguins. We have seen line movement on this game. That total is sitting at six and a half, minus 114 to the under, minus 106 to the over. Now, if I'm looking at a total in this one, I would go over before I went under. I know we've got great goaltending out there with Nadakovich coming out for the Pittsburgh Penguins and Samsonov for the Toronto Maple Leafs. But I look at these teams offensively. And I do think the way for one of these teams to get the win is to go over like a team total of three and a half. This could be a four two style game. So cautioned with that total, but I would expect it more likely to be a four three really tight battle out here. When we're looking at the Pittsburgh Penguins, they are sitting fourth in the Metro with 83 points. Now they are in a playoff position right now, holding on to a wild card spot. They absolutely need each and every single win that they can get. They need all of the points available to them out there to hold on to this playoff spot. When we look at Toronto, third in the Atlantic with 97 points. Now this team playing phenomenally well, and they're off that win, which did clinch them the playoff spot. So I'm looking here as... Toronto probably gets a loss. I really do think the Pittsburgh Penguins can get the win in this one on the road. Sidney Crosby seems determined to lead this team to victory. So I do think it is worth putting some money on the Pittsburgh Penguins. But I do think the player props are the better way to go, honestly, in this game. Make some money today. Looking at the player props, like I said, Sidney Crosby seems determined to get his team to victory, even if it means that he's going to get everything out there. So I am going to look at Sidney Crosby for his points tonight. The two plus points for Sidney Crosby is coming in at plus 196. I think that's a really safe way to go in this game. I can't really see Sidney Crosby being held off the scoreboard for goals either. So his anytime goal, I don't love it just because I'm not getting enough value with the anytime goal for Sidney Crosby, but I do think it's worth it. Instead of just taking the anytime goal, I'm going to take the two plus goals for Sidney Crosby. And this is a long shot, you guys. So don't go big on it. I wouldn't put a normal unit on it, but I am putting a half a unit on Sidney Crosby for two plus goals. That's coming in at plus 1,000. I can't say no. You've got to think the mentality of Sidney Crosby coming into this game. He knows where they're sitting. This team has won their last four. They moved into that playoff position after the win over the Tampa Bay Lightning this weekend. I think Sidney keeps going. Sidney Crosby keeps going. Now he got his 40th goal on the season in that last game out. So hopefully you jumped on that um, anytime goal. But the two plus points plus 196, I do think is the main play. The two plus goals at plus a thousand is worth a sprinkle. Now we can't forget about Austin Matthews. Looking here at Austin Matthews, we know how incredibly strong he has been. 64 goals on the season. If he hit 65 tonight, which he will. I can't see him not. He will tie Ovechkin for the leading active players goals on a season. Ovechkin got that in the 2007-2008 season with 65 goals. Austin Matthews has 64. Austin Matthews for the anytime goal is juice. The books have it at minus 115. Again, I think that's the play. Two plus goals for Austin Matthews. You know we can see it. Austin Matthews is such a competitor. Not only does he want to tie Ovechkin, he wants to surpass Ovechkin. You know that that is in his mindset. So the two plus goals for Austin Matthews at plus 500. I tell you, if we can hit Sidney Crosby for two plus goals at plus 1,000 and Austin Matthews at two plus goals plus 500, I'll be done betting for the night. Definitely here. It would be a great accomplishment to be able to do both of those. But um, let's get this. Let's get some money, Brady, here. 
Okay. And then Morgan Riley, he is um, out there on the ice. Defenseman, I'd look at his power play point. I do think Toronto scores on the power play. I'd expect Austin Matthews to be able to get that power play goal. But Morgan Riley for the power play point, I like tonight as well. I'd also circle Michael Bunting here for the Pittsburgh Penguins for a power play point as well. This is going to be a battle. The last time these teams played was back in December. The Pittsburgh Penguins have to want revenge from that game. The Toronto Maple Leafs shut them out. They shut them out hard as well. Seven to nothing win back in December for Toronto. This game, the Pittsburgh Penguins answer back. The last game of the night is the Vegas Golden Knights taking on the Vancouver Canucks. And now this is a crazy game. This has to be a crazy game. Silas will be in net for Vancouver. And I was really hoping it would be Casey DeSmith. Silas, though, has been strong. So he's played two games, recorded the win in both. He's got a 1.5 goals against average and a 9.30 save percentage. Can he keep those kind those <laughs> if I can talk those kind of numbers versus the Vegas Golden Knights? It's gonna be incredibly hard for this young goaltender out there. Now the Vegas Golden Knights, Logan Thompson, are looking to get the start here. We know how strong he has been. Vegas is off a loss to the Arizona Coyotes, though. So this is a team that has been beaten just last Friday by the Coyote Coyotes, and in a big way, 7-4. to four. They did win three of the last four meetings out versus Vancouver, including in April, on the second 6-3. to three. When we're looking at current odds on this game, we have the Vegas Golden Knights coming in at plus 104. Minus 125 for the Vancouver Canucks, a total of five and a half, juice to that over, at minus 138 to the over. I think this one has the ability of going to overtime between these two teams as long as Silas can stand tall in net. Now, the overtime bet here is coming in at plus 340. I do think that is worth a sprinkle in this one because I think it's going to go to overtime. I think this is a 3-2 game that we see the the one team tie it up. So I can't take the under five and a half, even though I think it's going to come right down to the wire where it pushes it over in the last seconds of this game. But I could see it going to OT. I think Vancouver has the opportunity of winning this one at home. Now, minus 125, the line has moved a little. It was minus 120 earlier in the day. This team is sitting fifth, or sorry, not fifth, first in the Pacific. They have 102 points. They can't afford a loss. And you say that, and we know they've clinched, and we know they're sitting first in the Pacific. Edmonton is right on their heels. Edmonton has um, three points less than them. They have... 90, 97 point, 90, 98, 99, 99 points out there. So we look at that. If we see Vancouver lose again and Edmonton wins their next game, Edmonton is in striking distance of taking the Pacific here. So Vancouver has to get back on track. They've only won two of their last six games. It's normally a situation where I don't want to back them. I want to back Vegas, but I just can't get there with Vegas in this one. I think it's a hard matchup for them. I don't like what we've seen out of Vegas as of late. Now they're sitting in the first wild card spot in the Western Conference. The Kings are in third in the Pacific. With how many losses Vegas has taken, the Kings have taken that third spot in the Pacific um, with 93 points. So we're looking at Vegas needs this win as well. They want to be able to either take that spot over um, the Kings or hold on to this first wild card spot. Now, there's a couple of player props I'm going to look at in this one. JT Miller of the Vancouver Canucks, I love him for the power play point. That's coming in at plus 170. He's on a seven-game point streak out there, two goals and six assists. We've seen him be very vocal when he's talking about this team and how they need to bring things together right now. So I love looking at players. I love looking at the storyline of players that have been the most vocal. JT Miller is one of them. And I think he can convert on that power play at least a point. So that's plus 170. When we look at Vegas, Thomas Hurdle, now a name we haven't talked about in a while. He was traded from the San Jose Sharks to the Vegas Golden Knights with hopes that he would be starting a game before the playoffs started. And that's what we're going to see tonight. Thomas Hurdle will make his debut for the Vegas Golden Knights tonight. And I wanted to take him for the anytime goal. And I think I might still sprinkle on the anytime goal for him. He was really impactful 
for the San Jose Shark, 15 goals and 34 points in 48 games. So not a huge goal scorer, but I do think at plus 220 worth a little bit of money on. But the one plus points, you're laying some juice at minus 118. But I do think if Thomas Hurdle gets out there on the ice, which he is fully expected to be, the books have the props up for him. We can see him in his debut for Vegas get on the point board. So I do like him one plus points at minus 118. But that is everything for today, you guys. We've got a loaded slate tomorrow. I cannot believe we are we're getting to the final countdown before the playoffs kick off here. There are so many questions still out there on where teams are going to place. Now, looking at who is solidified in the Eastern Conference, the Boston Bruins, the Florida Panthers, Toronto Maple Leafs, the New York Rangers, and the Carolina Hurricanes have all clinched. Now we have the New York Islanders sitting right now third in the Metro. We have the Tampa Bay Lightning sitting first in the wild card spot, and they have clinched as well. The Pittsburgh Penguins are sitting in that second wild card spot. They haven't clinched. Then the Flyers, the Capitals, the Red Wings, the Buffalo Sabres, and the New Jersey Devils. All of those teams fighting for that last wild card spot. When we look at who's been eliminated in the Eastern Conference, then it leaves the Ottawa Senators, the Montreal Canadiens, and the Columbus Blue Jackets all eliminated. When we look at the Western Conference, the Dallas Stars are leading the Western Conference right now. They've clinched those Colorado and the Winnipeg Jets. That's the first, second, and third in the Central. The Pacific, Vancouver sitting at top of the Pacific right now with Edmonton on their tails. The LA Kings are sitting third in the Pacific still haven't clinched their spot in the playoffs. The wild card spots right now sit as Vegas in the number one spot, the Nashville Predators in the number two spot. There's only two other teams left fighting in the Western Conference. That's the St. Louis Blues and the Minnesota Wild. So that leaves the Seattle Crack and the Calgary Flames, the Arizona Coyotes, the Anaheim Ducks, the Chicago Blackhawks, and the San Jose Sharks have all been eliminated from playoff contention. When we look at the difference between the St. Louis Blues and the Minnesota Wild, St. Louis has 85 points. The Minnesota Wild, it's crazy to think, only 81 points on the season. They do have a game in hand on the St. Louis Blues. But when we look at the difference between the Blues and the Nashville Predators, who sit in that second wild card spot, the Nashville Predators have 92 points. They do um, have, they have played one game more than the St. Louis then the Minnesota Wild. They played 77 games. The, San, uh, the Minnesota Wild have played 76, but they have 92 points. The Vegas Golden Knights also have 92 points. They have a game in hand of over the Nashville Predators, though. So things are still up in the air where these teams are going to finish up, but this should be a fantastic night out there on the ice. Tomorrow is going to be even crazier. I cannot wait. Why are you shaving your eyebrows? You have to shave your eyebrows if the Caps go to the playoffs. Okay, if they go to the playoffs, I thought you meant if they don't. The Capitals, oh, I feel bad for you, picks from Dave. So let's look at where the Washington Capitals are sitting. That's a hard one. They have one game in hand um, over the Pittsburgh Penguins. So the Pittsburgh Penguins have 83 points, played 77 games. The Washington Capitals have played... 76 games have 82 points and the Detroit Red Wings are sitting exactly the same. Now the Capitals make it to the playoffs over the Red Wings if they have the same points because they have more regulation wins. So we could see that. I really do think this will come down to the Penguins, the Caps and the Red Wings for that last wild card spot. So you've got 33.3% chance of having to shave those eyebrows off picks from Dave. <laughs> I tell you, I've got some good um, eyebrow makeup. I can I can send you the brand names, <laughs> maybe. I really feel for you. That's got to be a hard one, but made it preseason. Ooh, that hurts. That definitely hurts. Vegas in the first period. I do think Vegas could come out really strong. I will send those off to you. I'll send you all the brand names because 33.3% chance. That's kind of worrisome. That is for sure. But you guys, all the best in all of your bets. I appreciate everyone for being here. Yeah, you got to look at uh, Matthews and uh, Sidney Crosby. Definitely should be a good day out there. So you guys, all the best in all of your bets. We will be back here tomorrow at the same time, 530 Eastern. Catch me on Game Time Decisions. I will be on at 625 
Eastern today talking some MLB. I've got a same game parlay that you don't want to miss out on over on the grid. It pays plus 1170. So don't miss out on that. I'll see you. I'll see you there. Bye guys.